My family and I are grateful that we can immigrate to Canada. The reason why we came here, I should roughly be as usual as most of immigrants be, to look for more peaceful life, to balance the anxiety of the future, to let our children not to cycle parents' suffering. Our children had been studying at an international school in home country, which runs jointly with New Brunswick. He received the Canadian high school education there, which made him learn being in the independent, critical thinking, and a prison to study his academic to understand the world diversity. When he graduated from his high school, he was offered by several Canadian universities. And fortunately, at the almost same time, our application of immigration was approved. So here we are in Fred Lacton. We came to Fred Lacton in winter, immediately felt the peace and the modesty of this place. We come from the tropic city, which has three summer per year. The city has 20 million population and uh, prosperous economy. Most of our people always live and work in a rush way. While well, Friday is different, uh, we are fond of walking uh, in the slow on the trail, a friendly greeting which passes by, driving on the road by the river, watching the light change in sunset. Sometimes we may remind of an idiom, excessive magnificent watched. It means getting rid of things which we didn't want to have. While we enjoy this peace and hospitality, we have to consider how to contribute to local economy. In other words, for me, I should take some job. I'm a software engineer and uh, sent my resume to several IT companies. Though I believe I have enough experience in IT field, I intentionally apply some low-level job instead of managing position, which requires me a less talking and uh, be easy to me, like coding, system maintenance. Some of companies haven't responded yet, some called me by phone to talk about my background. To be honest, my terrible skill of uh, speaking and listening cannot make me express fluently and accurately. So usually uh, there is no follow-up after that. Most of company prefer to interview via telephone in the first stage, which lets them not to learn what I can do as well as makes me stop. By now, I'm struggling to answer my phone or call someone, but it is inevitable that telephone is the most preferred, even only way to consult, interview, negotiate, even make an appointment, etc. I recognize this is a, a big barrier for me to integrate into this society possibly also for other new immigrants. I try to practice more, but it would take more time. While I worked as a software engineer in the past 20 years, I read loads of technical documents in English, while there was lack of opportunity for speaking. I think I can communicate well by writing. Therefore, there might be some other ways to solve this matter. In my home country, people have been used to or preferred to use instant message to communicate for a long time instead of telephone. During the pandemic of COVID-19, there are some restrictions to work in person. People realize remote working with the hope of uh, internet uh, technologies, such as video meeting, email, web form, and uh, chat tours, etc. 
Uh, there are good ways to see the other person's uh, official expressions and uh, gestures, uh, to see the precise description in the, in the text, and to make more time for each other. Many immigrants don't have many opportunities to speak in English in their home countries, though they get some level in English test. So if some multimedia method or alternative ways can be used in communicating with new immigrants, that must be easier and friendlier than telephone preferred in current habits. I appreciate advocating multicultural uh, acceptance and inclusion. I think that the, the way to communicate a part of uh, diversity and uh, inclusion. New immigrants like to come here to find their new home, but also are willing to contribute their own strength and enthusiasm. Perhaps the single preferred way of telephone left many of them confused. Maybe a few changes of ways to communicate would make sense for our community. Fortunately, in decades, sign language interpreters are often seen in television programs. Because we wish this information could be learned by more people, even if an deaf mute. I really understand the great power of the telephone and the habits of the people. So new immigrants like me, who are diff difficult of uh, listening and speaking, have to improve these skills so as to uh, communicate more smoothly with the local who come first and work together for our community. The beautiful St. John River divides Flickton into north and south. But the Westmoreland Bridge and the Prince Margaret Bridge connect them, allowing people who drive back and forth. And the old railway bridge offers people to walk across the river to the other side. When summer comes, the people who take a boat, fishing and riding. People are using different ways to enjoy the beautiful St. John River. So I hope that I can also find a different way to build a new life here.